be welcome watching. back to the realest channel on the planet and make sure you stay true and, and hit, hit that like subscribe button. button babe make sure you stay true <laughs> and hit the like button and don't be a hater on your life man make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell to get notified every time i post a new video so today is what wednesday wednesday and these kids think every day their damn birthday want to go do some fun every day it's not that it's just you know summertime i feel like it was easier to vlog when it wasn't summertime when it was just me and kelly we had our morning routine we get up and do what we gotta do and you know what i'm saying we vlog for y'all every day but now we got all these kids and one person want to do this one person want to do that it's just a lot it is and it's hard to stay positive with a house full of kids shout out to all you single parents out there i don't know how y'all do it man salute to y'all it's just really hard to stay like upbeat and and just you know uplifted i guess because there's just so much going on and then also the house be tore up like 24 7 like right after i pick up it's just like back to you know being messy but we're gonna try and stay focused because like he said it is hard to just keep the content going so i'm trying to tell him and motivate him that we need to get up and stop vlogging it's real hot outside though man so we're really not trying to go be outside right now because it's hot but then again, we still want to go out. You know what I'm saying? Well, I want to go out. Like, he doesn't want to go out. But I know that we have to go grocery shopping. That's one thing on the list. So y'all might have to come with us later on today. But yeah, I want to do something. But it's just like... Man, it's hard doing something. We got eight people in the house. And one of so, them is a baby. Hey, I forgot to tell y'all yesterday that we do got an event coming up in Dallas because of the last meet and greet in Dallas went so very well that they called us back from Dallas and want us to go back. So... July 20th, we're gonna be at Club Radius. And there will be a meet and greet from 6 to 8 p.m. And then a live performance later that night. That's going to be me and Kelly's first time getting away by ourselves with no kids all summer. Because every day this summer we've been <laughs> surrounded by children. And not only is it like just getting away, but it still works. So I'm excited for that. This is an all ages event. So make sure that you come out. Um, yeah, you bring the whole family. Welcome. The meet and greet and the performance, both all ages. At it says it's at a club, but it's all ages. I think it ends at like midnight. It's an early show, so you can bring the whole fam out and yeah, turn up. I can't wait up. to meet y'all. But we'll be back with y'all in a minute when we decide what we're gonna do. It's still early in the morning right now. It's probably like it's only like it's 10, eleven. It's ten fifty. It's eleven. It's 10.50 in the morning. It's 10 to 11 and... So when we decide what we're going to do with our day, we'll be back with y'all. you watching Luciano TV. Stay tuned. Our pantry is so empty. All we have to eat is Cheez-Its. Nobody likes Cheez-Its. They've been there for like years now. Probably going to get some drinks. But psych, there's no drinks to drink. But orange juice and some chocolate milk. And maybe some water right there. But nobody likes on some Sprite or some or some juice, some apple juice. You know I've been craving apple juice. I don't know why, I've just been craving some apple juice. Yeah, I've been craving a lot of apple juice. I'm not a lot, but like, you know, I want some apple juice. Right now, we got some orange juice, some chocolate milk, some almond milk. We get almonds because my mom said that it has cow pus in the regular ones. <coughs> not good. Y'all like eating, y'all like drinking cow puss? No, y'all don't, cause that's disgusting. So dad, how do you feel? <laughs> Get out of here, boy. All right. Peace, dad. Bye. All right, I'm gonna shut his door cause he needs some peace and quiet. Oh, cringe balls. <sighs> I gotta go. <sighs> I don't wanna go for no walk. How does that help me in life? Nothing, but what is that? What is that doing? Burn some calories? I don't need any calories burned. Let's go! I can barely see. I told you he was gonna come with me so we can vlog this because the sunlight is doing me good. It's not doing me good. I can barely see. You know how hot it is? No, I'm just kidding. Why is it so hot? Oh, it's summertime. Never mind. Why? Can you keep the camera still? Well, because I'm trying to think. And I have to move around to think. Did you not know? See, like, I could walk. I want some cold ice, not lemonade, but some lemon water. I want to get some ice, like a cup, a plastic, a clear plastic cup, cup a clear pass plastic cup. Put some ice and some water and put some lemon in there and then put a lemon on the side of it. And 
That's what I want right now. What about you? What do you think, Evan? I don't know. Some more chapa. Houston. What about you? He's like, ah, oh, I'm just enjoying life. Chilling. Wow. That's how you feel? Yeah, I know. I get you. Alright you guys, so I know that y'all have seen us walk around the lake and we haven't done it in a while, I guess since the kids got out of school. So I was like, Kingston, come with me. We're gonna go walk around the lake and get some sunlight. I just wanna give a huge shout out to all you ladies that hold down the fort because it, the struggle is real. And a lot of times our men are out working or you know, they are providing. They're like the main source of income. And so they're, in another mentality so you know shout out to you men that hold it down financially and you know do everything they can to provide you know i just wanted to give y'all a little bit of advice we haven't you know came through with some positive words of encouragement to y'all so um just make sure to keep your head up you know things will get hard but you should never fold never fold especially on your loved ones um Make sure you always stay positive, even when it's hard to not be positive. Always try and look at the bigger picture, yeah. you know, in the long run. Even when you're going through things in life, you know, at the end of the day, you're growing and you're going to be learning things along the way. And I try to teach the kids all the time to take a moment and look at their energy. The energy, the type of energy you put out in the world. Even when it comes to like a simple conversation. Even when it comes to like somebody calling your name and the way you respond. Watch the energy you're putting out. That can change a lot about your day and how it's gonna go. So yeah, I wanted to make sure that I told y'all and reminded y'all that life is great you guys look at this beautiful sky look at these clouds the birds are chirping my children are healthy and alive you know i have a handsome husband all right that was enough walking let's go <laughs> kingston's already tired but i'm gonna go ahead and just finish this one lap around the lake the water's looking kind of dirty no i drink that water i'm so thirsty it's like a swamp Maybe we should go ask the lifeguard at the pool. So, okay, the reason why we haven't been to our neighborhood pool is because we don't have our wristbands. The rule is you're supposed to have wristbands in order to go to the, our neighborhood pool, which is a nice pool. Um, but we haven't got our wristbands or, you know, they sent us an email and, well, they didn't send it to me because I would have made sure to be on top of it because I know that the kids would have loved to go to the pool during the summer. But Lucky actually archived that email whenever they sent it to him asking him if he needed wristbands for this summer. So, you know, that's why we haven't been to the pool. <laughs> it says a couple words like mama, dada, and like um. Bubbles. Gigi. He says Gigi, he says bubbles, he says balls. He oh, he says cracker. cracker. Every time he's hungry, he says cracker. I'm back with y'all in a little bit. We have made it to the house. Make sure you stay hydrated. Water is key. Cheers. Let's go check out what Lucky's doing. Did you just fart? Don't don't do that. It's not funny. Lucky taught him that. So like I was telling y'all, we are in need of some groceries. So we are heading to the grocery store right now. H E B, we are okay. coming your way. It is so hot out here, you guys. Like OMG. But um Pull y'all back out once we're there. Coming through with the content. So let's start over here on this side. So, so far so good. We've been trying to get foods that raise your vibration, such as um, not a lot of meat, more veggies, more fruits, and Trying to stay away from soda. Alright, so we made it 
made it home and I'm unloading kids were in here making a mess so when I got home I had to clean up their little mess and then start on putting everything up the kids had asked me to make spaghetti earlier so I think that's what I'm gonna make them for lunch and that's all I have to do and I have to wash dishes and finish my laundry you guys so I have a full day ahead of myself yeah we just got back I had to stop at Salada and give me a salad the salad's right there, good man, but I be getting kale stuck in my grill. It's good to eat healthy foods every now and then, man, so you can raise your vibration. It's easier to manifest the things that you want in your life once you raise your vibration. So I'm doing a 30 day no soda challenge. Started today, what's today? Today's Wednesday, the 10th, July 10th. So I ain't drinking no sodas, no Cokes, no root beer, no Dr. Pepper, no Big Red, no Great Fanta, and I love my Strawberry Crush, but I ain't drinking none of that for 30 days. So I gotta raise my vibration, man, you know what I'm saying? I gotta manifest the things I still want. I'm saying I got goals and aspirations still, you know what I'm saying? I gotta reach those goals. I gotta reach new milestones, and I ain't gonna be able to do it if I'm vibrating at a low frequency. I know you're supposed to brush your teeth first and then floss, but I floss, brush my teeth, and then floss again. And I gotta do it every time I eat because it's damn grill. I didn't know it was gonna be such a hassle when I got it. You know what lowers your vibration? When you're scrolling up your damn timeline, scrolling up and down your timeline, and when you're reading all that, negative energy gets passed on to you. You know what I'm saying? Also, when you watch the news, and you look at the news, or the six o'clock news, or the 10 o'clock news, and they just showing all the bad shit that happened in the city today. You watching all that shit, and it's going into your brain. Also, when you watch bullshit shows like Love and Hip Hop, when they just showing people throwing drinks on each other, and fighting and arguing and all that shit. That shit right there is bad for you, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I would cut that shit out completely out your daily routine. Your brain is a big transmitter, man. The thoughts you think create your reality. Believe it or not. I'm making spaghetti. I'm making spaghetti. Well, technically I'm helping mom, but I to oh, took over. What happened? Um, yeah, so first what we pretty much did is I put the meat. Well, technically mom put the meat in, but I put like the noodles in and the sauce. Technically. You put the noodles to boil. I put the noodles to boil. Same thing. And they're ready. Oh, they're ready. So the food is almost ready? Yep. So I got any noodles in there. I feel like the camera lens is about to get fogged up, but it's all right. And then we got our... It's like the sauce and the meatballs thingy. And it's almost ready. It's almost ready. I'll see you guys whenever it's ready, guys. Is that mine? Sure. I'll be your taste tester for today. Oh, that smells so good. I would rate it. Five out of five. Good job, Mama Chef. Mm -hmm. And me. Oh. Uh, the parts belong to you, or you belong to the parts? Yeah. All human experience. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fat boy. <laughs> What's up, everybody? So, yeah, before we uh, go, I just wanted to give a shout out. Kingston been in here playing Fortnite all day long. And now I came in here and told him I need to edit this video, and he wanted to give me a hard time. Right before you turn it on. How long have you been on it? Uh, like an hour. Boy, you've been on it since I went to the grocery store. You've been on this game. Yes, you have. No. What were you doing when I was at the grocery store? I was with Elijah. You a lie. Before we go, I want to give a shout out. To Tyson Gates 87 because he said he patiently waiting for the next upload man and I want to apologize if our vlog's been a little dry lately it's just hard man it's really really hard when you got a big family we got a I'm trying to play this arena I'm in champion league I have 320 points I'm insane also July 20th we got a lot of stuff coming up not this Saturday the next Saturday July 20th club radius 2623 Willowbrook Drive don't forget meet and greet from 6 to 8 p.m. and then a performance later that night all ages event bring the whole fam is going down Dallas Texas July 20th at club radius Ooh.